Hi guys, Jen here. I am making an ocean theme soap. You guys have seen me make this many times. Uh, and it's gonna be scented in celestial waters. But, bringing you guys along, cause apparently you guys like all the videos. You just wanna hog them all up. Y'all don't care what kind it is, as long as we make a soap and video. So that is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm using my hot lye water, of course, to melt my liquid or to melt my hard oils. And then we've got our liquid oils over here in the back. We'll get them blended up in a minute. It's got our additives in there. I just wanted to give a big shout out to all of you that support me on Patreon. It means the world to me um, because it forces me to think outside the box and come up with new recipes uh, for everybody. So for those of you that go over there and support me at just the $6 level, I am very appreciative of that. Um, if you have any questions about it, I always put the link to our Patreon in the description of the video. You, you, or you can just go to Patreon and search for Be Scented. But uh, we very much appreciate all of you that follow us um, and help us out. Like I said, it makes me think out of sight of the box to try to come up with new recipes um, to offer. I just did a recipe on um, stain sticks using our um, uh, twist up deodorant tubes uh, for your laundry. I wanted to, I didn't want to physically hold the bar of soap in my hand to be rubbing it because then you're going to have to you know, go wash my hands after. So I was like, what can I do to make that easier? So I made a recipe and uh, just got that done today for uh, everybody. And I, I hope to have that released actually today, which is Friday. You guys won't see this video until sometimes next week. But Patreon people will get that recipe today. Um, I also have in the works um, doing some bath salts. Um, I'm going to do a buttermilk bath recipe. Uh, we're going to do uh, salt scrubs. Um gonna do a tutorial with wax, uh, not wax melts, with um, lip balms using the new lip balm base. So yeah. Okay guys, I have to pause you guys because I have a delivery and unfortunately I can't uh, stop this. So I'm just gonna have to bring you guys back uh, in just a couple of minutes. Hopefully you guys won't miss too much. But like I said, they're getting ready to walk in the door. I have to pause you guys. Okay guys, see you didn't miss much. I just mixed up my liquid oils and then poured them in here. It's all that you missed. Nothing major. <laughs> now, so what I'm going to do with this soap is get that cocoa butter <laughs> that I just saw float up. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm going to measure off a small amount that I want to use as my sand portion in the soap. So, it doesn't need to be a lot. That's good. I'm going to add a little bit of fragrance. And for my sand portion, I am using sage powder. Um, it makes amazing little speckles and flakes. I don't have to add any color to this. I love the color that this generates from it and the speckles that it makes. So I'm going to stick in this pretty well. I mean, as you guys can see, hopefully, let's see. 
you guys see the amazing speckles that that does. And we're, ooh, I splashed that out. Be careful, Jen. Um, I am going to stick one this a good amount because I want it to set up well because I want this layer to be a solid layer on the bottom. Now, it doesn't have to be a solid layer because the ocean changes. So it can be um, wavy if you want. This is for a wholesale order, and this is how I've always done this soap. So, that's how I'll keep doing it. All right, so that's good. I'm gonna rinse this off. I'm gonna grab us a mold, and we're gonna pour this bottom sand in. You can get sage powder here at Be Scented if you want to try it. I'm going to give this a little smack just like so. And I'm gonna find my rubbing alcohol and give this a spritz. I'm not quite sure where it is. I'm gonna find it, I'll be back. Okay, rubbing alcohol in hand. Just gonna give that a spritz down. It kinda helps uh, for it to set. I'm just gonna set this mold over here. And we're gonna work with our water portion. So I'm going to divide off some into here. I don't care that it has the little speckles in there. It's not a big deal. That section is going to be blue and this is going to be white. This is our bright blue. There wasn't a whole lot left in here. So I figured I would just use it up and then I'll refill my little container. So that's bright blue, and then this is titanium dioxide that I mixed up earlier, and then whatever I don't use today, I'll put in my titanium dioxide bottle. Oh crap, I just made a mess. Oopsies. That back in there. make my table all white, why don't I? Right? It's okay. <laughs> Let's add a little bit of fragrance. There we go. So I'm going to stick one the white portion first and then the blue and then we're going to do an in the pot swirl. <laughs> Beautiful. I don't want to stick one too much because I want us to be able to be pourable, but I need it mixed in well. Good. There. Now I'm going to do my in the pot swirl. And I'm not going to swirl this. And I'm not going to scrape out my top contain this blue container either. I'm going to use it for the top portion of our soap. Now, as 
as you can see, that's kind of set up pretty well. I'm going to pour very slowly and as shallow as possible to try not to break through. The faster you pour, the harder it pushes down. And possibly will break through your layer. And if you're like me and you're trying not to break through, you want to go easy. The beauty of this type of soap, yeah, I have no idea what it's going to look like. Until you cut it. Yeah. I'm going to scrape this out, then give this a big smackaroo. And then I'm going to drizzle my blue on the top. I'm dangerous with that bottle back there. I am all trying to dump that out all over my table and make a royal mess. I'm going to drizzle this across the top and then we're going to swirl it around. All right, there we go. Okay guys, now let's glam this up with some glitter. And that's it. Thanks guys for watching. We'll talk to you later. Alright guys, we are back to cut our celestial water soap. Let's see how this one turns out. I'm excited for the in the pot swirl on this one. Because ooh, I felt like I did a better job this time than I have previously. Oh, yes. Look at how nice. And as you guys can see, the sand portion on the bottom is kind of perfect. Didn't add any color. Just that um, sage powder. These are cut at one inch for this customer. Very happy with this one so far. Just a few more cuts. And this one is done. Last cut. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.